You've got to be realistic about Europe. We are not going to get an AME department any more than we have an AME department at the moment. We've got to concentrate on the fact that there are centres of excellence around the county and indeed into the lineage. And I, I, if I can just start by saying the ambulance, the ambulance question is no different now from that which arose five years ago when the last scare was raised about the Europe Hospital's closure. The hospital didn't close and services have not deteriorated in every oh, hospital that have deteriorated. You will remember, because we had this debate five years ago, that if, for instance, a child is knocked down on the A1, of course the ambulance will go past the Europe Hospital. Because the Europe Hospital is not equipped to deal with fragile bodies that die quickly. Those ambulances will go to centres of excellence and lives can be saved. But I see the problems as, as follows. I see the fact that there is a prospect of not having 24-hour coverage inside the hospital. <coughs> I'm completely opposed to that. Secondly, I see the fact that this is not just a question of the NHS Trust, it's also to do, also to do with East Midlands Ambulance Service. We are making progress on that. We have been told that there are increases in the Ambulance Service's uh, budget for next year, and that ambulance modelling is already going on to find out where the deficiencies are inside the Ambulance Service. The fact remains that we cannot legislate for crowded and accident-bound roads. We can't. And the third point, well, I, I think I, I would uh, try to brag about it, but I, I hope that we have had a lot of success with the NHS since this problem arose yet again, is the fact that East Midlands uh, NHS Trust, or sorry, Sherwood Forest NHS Trust, have assured us that any savings which this process makes will be ring-fenced entirely and 100% for Newark. It will not be reinvested inside Nottinghamshire, it will be reinvested inside the town. The bottom line is this, <coughs> Newark's expanding, and Newark's healthcare must expand the step of that. Yes, I think this comes down to it. If Newark does expand, then the services that we have in the town need to expand to keep up with it. And being cutting them back is not going to be helpful. I can see the, op the argument that Newark doesn't support the very expensive, very high-tech uh, facilities that are needed for seriously damaged people in accidents, for very ill people with heart attacks and strokes. Nevertheless, the A&E department is treating at least 80% of people who need such immediate care. And it does need to stay open for 24 hours. I don't think people want to be find, trying to find a GP in the area if they have a sick child. I had the experience, my grandson was taken ill and we took him straight to Newark. We dealt with him, he ended up having to go to Lincoln but the first